Welcome back to your daily dose, everybody. It's time for some dinner. I'm excited. Hopefully it's good. Let's take my good old favorite elevator. If you somehow missed the end of yesterday's video, we're combining tonight with all day tomorrow, which we're gonna be at MSC's private island for the very first time. Ah, oh, shoot, is it formal night? <laughs> oh, where, oh, where are the people on this cruise? There's nobody on the cruise. I don't think it's formal night, it's like white night. You get dressed casual and I'm dressing very casual. Does this count as casual? <laughs> Hello. How are you? Hungry. Thank you. Dinner time. Hello. Hello. It's like nobody here. I'll take it. I think I remember. It's right over here, yeah. Yes, sir, Bob. Love it. The whole dining room to ourselves, practically. Here we are. Let's go. Must have missed this the other day, but they've got a QR code for, for the menu. Still gonna do the shrimp cocktail, even though it's $4.95. Um, but oh my goodness, look at this. We got some guacamole and corn tortillas. We're gonna go all out, at least for the starters. I, I don't know what this style shrimp tails are, but we're gonna get that. We're gonna get the guacamole and then we're gonna get the pork skewer. The servers at the sit down has been phenomenal. Now, I don't know if that's because, you know, there's not a lot of people here or if it's normally like this, but uh, 10 out of 10 on the service. Shrimp cocktail has arrived. It is a 10 out of 10, y'all already know. Y'all already know. Without a doubt, this is a, a staple now when I go cruising. Our pork skewer. Holy banana sauce. This looks delicious. Pineapple first. <laughs> That's good. I kind of love one pineapple. But here comes the almighty uh, pork test. It's got flavor. A little bit dry, um, but not bad. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Um, it's a mojito. Not a chugger. We've got shrimp tails here. This is uh, a new way that I'm trying shrimp. It's in flour and it's fried. Rule of thumb is you can't go wrong with shrimp. Wow, interesting. It's got that oddly like, it's like a funnel cake type taste. That's very interestingly good. It's like a shrimp funnel cake. Now something I haven't had on a cru cruise ship ever, uh, guacamole. Let's, let's give it a go. There's no way this is bad, right? There's no way. Tastes pretty darn good to me. I love guacamole. It's just something really weird to have at dinner. Just like that, we are leaving. Look at that. Goodbye Bahamas, until next time. I don't know when we're coming back. Got no idea. Could be soon, could be in a year, could be in a week, could be in two months. I don't know. Or uh, jerk chicken has arrived. Supposedly it's spicy, so we'll give this a whirl, but it looks pretty good. Pretty uh, mouth-watering. Ooh, yeah, that's spicy. Ooh, it's got a good kick. Is jerk chicken supposed to be a little fatty? Like, it's not, it's very lightly fatty. I find nothing wrong with their food here. Absolutely nothing. Another good dinner service in the books. Dinner, I would give it a solid eight out of 10, but look at this. We got another, moji another mojito, but she gave me a heart this time. That is cool, I've never seen that. This mango mojito is so much better than the original. Mm. This is a chugger. All right, you got another one, let's go. Oh, there it is. We got another one. Hi. Heck yeah. We got a new straw too. I yeah. like what you did the first one. So <laughs> Key lime pie with some raspberry sauce. This is dangerous. Dangerous confirmed. This food is great. We've eaten so much. We're gonna round it out with some rum cake. Holy, this is good. I've never had it before. Could this possibly be la 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 la? Could it possibly be the first thing we don't like tonight? Oof. Yeah, can taste the rum in that. I don't know rum cake is for me. <laughs> that dinner service is top notch in my opinion. We got a drink to go. Uh, we've got a show in about an hour. It's gonna be our first entertainment show actually on the ship. So I'm really curious to see what that's gonna be. far there is one thing we are missing on this cruise and that is entertainment on the ship it's gonna change right now life is magic I'm assuming it's a magic show here we go we were here in uh, yesterday's vlog at least in the morning we're gonna check this out 
We are the first ones to show up. That's usually how it rolls. And interestingly enough, actually, you cannot have alcohol in this theater. Hmm. By the looks of it as well, it appears they're doing like every other seats. Huh. Please welcome to the stage your host, the food director, Dave! Dave! Woo! Yes! Oh my gosh. This is a crazy cool set. What a man! Woo! I've actually never seen a magic show like this before. I always see these ones on TV, but like never in person. This is a good magic show. Very entertaining. He hasn't even talked. Dancing girls, you just, just say less. Kyle will be there. The floating Madame Leota table. We're just missing Madame Leota. What is our head gonna change? <laughs> oh gosh. What? Their head's gone. <laughs> that is unlike any magic show I've ever seen in my life. Might possibly be like one of the best shows. It was really cool. The magician never talked. It was it was so different compared to everything that I've seen. It was really good. 10 out of 10 for the show. Holy cow. It's the type of show that I've always seen on TV, but never in person, and that's why I was just like, holy cow, this is amazing. They had a lot of copyrighted music in it, but 10 out of 10. Woo! Oh! Yeah! Woo! That was great. Heck yeah! Well, with that, everybody, I will see you tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. It is our very first time at MSC's private island, Ocean Key, Ocean K. I don't think any pronunciation is wrong. It's gonna be fun. Oh, wow. There she is. Got some nice white sandy beaches. This is way bigger than I thought it was gonna be. It's technically a reserve too, by the way. Um, okay, I can't wait to explore. Let's just go around, see what they'll have to offer. I think we can get bike rentals as well. Um, okay, sweet. I'm here for it. To me, it definitely looks more like a relaxing private island. Um, it does look like there's a lot of places to travel to. If we can do bikes, I'll definitely uh, rent a bike because um, I love going on bikes on private islands. Castaway. <laughs> uh, yeah, a new private island, another venture. Let's do it. Well, first, let's get some food to eat. You know, I'm actually really excited for breakfast because we really haven't had buffet breakfast at all. <laughs> it's also so weird just walking in to the buffet here in the morning and there just being like two people in here. Cruise ship to ourselves. Good morning, sir. Good morning, we've got some donuts and cake. Waffles and pancakes, hot breakfast, the eggs and omelet station. Okay, you can make your own. I'm gonna do this. Thank you. We got our omelet, three sausages, bacon, waffle with um, some little fruit on top. This looks good, does it not? Come on now. It may look good, but if it doesn't taste good, we have a problem. It's a good omelet. Honestly, some omelets add on cruise ships taste really fishy. This doesn't taste fishy. You know, I think the biggest complaint that I've seen on YouTube, on forums, is the food is bad on MSC. Food is good in my opinion. The food is good. Maybe it's not good for you, but it is good. Baby, just move a little closer. And I say, oh, it's a night we'll both remember. Oh, sweet surrender. I am the only one in the promenade right now at like 10 a.m. in the morning. Okay, here's the exit. They switched the exits on us today. We're midship instead of uh, the aft today. 
here we go. That was easy, no line. I love getting off because it's like the only time you can see like obviously the outside of your ship. Because when you board for the first time, you can barely see it when you're coming on up to the port. Now in terms of size, it did surprise me because it did look a little bit smaller on, um, on pictures. But I feel like this is gonna be more such of a relaxing island versus an adventure island. Kind of like the chill side to Coco Cay. Looks like we gotta be back on board by 5.30. But we probably will be there well beforehand. Ocean K, Marina Reserve in the Bahamas. Their very own private island. They bought this, this was actually just like nothing before. And they turned it into, you know, what you see today. Hashtag MSC Ocean K. I've got really no idea what to expect. I wanna see if they have bikes, cause it'd be cool to bike around instead of walking. Um, obviously it's gonna, gonna cost something. Oh, we got some transportation right to the left. Looks like they do have some trams that run. I wonder what this is. I wanna go see what this tower is. If you guys do have a private cabana, you guys go here to the right and get your own private transportation to your cabana, which is super, super nice. I don't know how much they are, but what do you say, let's go kind of adventure and see what Ocean K has to offer. I did just ask right here, there's no bike rentals, so we're gonna be on foot roaming around, which is okay. I just prefer doing a bike. Biking's fun. It's like we're entering our own little private city. Feels like that. Feels like an, a beach city. I'm pretty sure that's a vibe. Ooh, visitor center. We gotta see if they have a duck in here. I need to get a duck. No rubber ducky, but to go inside the pavilion, you do need to put a mask on. I don't know. Oh, also, there's 160 people actually living on this island. Rental and excursion pavilion. What can we rent? It's probably, I think, jet skis. First in uh, impressions, it's pretty darn beautiful and you kind of stro stroll out, you're met with these buildings, which there's just tons of shops. Um, you have the excursions pavilion right here in the beginning, which is really nice. It's where you meet to go on at the shipwreck tour excursion. Honestly, these are some very nice gift shops with some really reasonable prices. But to be honest, I'm really not like a souvenir person. I've always been a documenting person. Like my videos, that's the souvenir for me. Um, and the nice thing about these shops are is that you don't have anybody heckling you like you're gonna see in the Bahamas. We have a Bahamas shop over here as well. I mean, on a today like uh, today, it's our own private island because there's only 600, 700, 800 people on the cruise, our very own private island. There's a look at the accommodations if they uh, live here. They look really nice. Some nice apartments. There also is a bar, the Springer's Bar. I think this is uh, good with the drink plan as well. Oh yeah, definitely. It's a private island. I'd be really surprised if it wasn't. We did uh, see the aerial look from uh, the cruise ship. Now here's kind of just the general map. Well, the map. This is where we are. So we've got a lot of exploring to do. Remember, this is more like a natural reserve as well. So um, maybe we'll see some dolphins. Maybe we'll see, oh, they actually do have it on the map. Let's, gonna, let's go this way, make our way up to the right on this little island, then we'll make our way back. A lot of walking. I, I, I kind of love stuff like this. Our ship looks so pretty. But here's a look at the, the walking trail. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. We gotta go this way. Oops. Let's just cut across this nice grass. It would be very nice if we did have bikes, but I'm okay with walking. I'm just like a, I'm a biker, you know? Especially on private islands. Seekers, the food court. It's so weird. There's nobody here. What? <laughs> Looks like we found the rental gear location. I think that's the snorkeling area. I do not do well with snorkeling. Oh my gosh. This is beautiful. Ha, huh, hello paradise. Something you should know about me is I am definitely not a beach person. This is this is cool. It's really, really open. I'm here to show it off to you guys. Tons of beach. Holy camoli. 
I will say the best thing about this water is there's no wake. Look at it, it's not even moving. This is perfect. Is it weird that I'm a beach person, but I'm not a beach person? Like I like to be here, but I don't. <laughs> this island's actually massive. A lot of walking, a lot of sweating, cause there's not that much shade. A lot of sand though, a lot of sand as you can see. Wow, oh wow. Um, they will not let me cross that bridge. That whole island is for the yacht club only. They can have that because this island is ginormous and I'm okay with giving you just a little bit to yourself, yacht club members. It's so big. Some of you guys might have a question on why I don't do many excursions, you know, when I go cruising. Um, to be honest, I'm not really an excursion person, but there's really only one here, and it was like the, sh the shipwreck. Um, so I, I just kind of like to wander. Like, I'm a wanderer. I don't like to be, like, set and locked into the excursion that I do, unless it's, like, super cool or super scary, like zip lining that we just did. I don't really typically do a lot of excursions. I kind of just like to go on my own, you know, and sometimes excursions are letdowns. Um, I just like to, to wander. I'm a free bird. Without a doubt though, this is a beach lover's paradise. It's the wavy ocean side front. Look at that water though. Unreal. Headed out to this lighthouse. I think you have to pay to go up. I'm unsure. I don't know if you can go up, but let's go check it out. It's beautiful. Look at the water. Oh my goodness. I feel like this is a bigger island than Perfect Day, but it's not as finished. So it's not bigger, you can just walk and walk for days. Yeah, how nice. A lighthouse bar. It's beautiful. By the way, you do have to pay to go up. $14.99 per person. Well, I feel like like in conclusion, um, it's a beautiful private island, but it's not a private island necessarily for me. This is this is seriously a beach lover's perfect private island because that's pretty much all there is here. Just beaches. Uh, there's tons of snorkeling places. Um, you know, you guys saw a lot of uh, a lot of water. Um, you know, I just have never been attracted to the beach. So we're gonna head back on it to the ship, and um, you know, chill on the ship. It's fun here, but it's just not for me. I'm just not. I'm just not somebody that's um, gonna sit by the beach all day. You know, that's that's not me. So let's go on the. Let's go back on the ship. I wish we had a bike, though. I would totally bike around here all day. Now this. This is more my speed. We're gonna pretty much have a water park to ourselves. Looks like we've got two slides here. Three slides. Three slides. Got a very nice view up here as well. We walked that whole island and um, that's the private one. You see the furthest island? That's the yacht club members only. Body slide first. It goes in like one of the tube slides, you know, like a bucket. Oh my goodness. Well, not a bucket, it's a, it's a toilet slide. At least that's what I like to call it. These ones you have to get up and walk after. That's where we came out of. Not to mention some of the cruise ships, but here they're amazing at letting you film whatever you want. One more time just for fun. Three, two, one, go. Oh, yeah. They set this here for me. Let's go up, two slide time. He's allowing me to go backwards. Unbelievable. This is a first, backwards. See you in a bit. Here we go. Oh, 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 it was sideways. Ah, Woo, boy. Oh, Woo, whoa, oh my gosh. Ah. 
It gets scary when it's dark. Oh, is it? Okay. Cowabunga. Woo! It's warm in here. Holy cow, it's so warm. Whoa. We are in a heat tunnel. Woo! And I can feel the air. There it is. Oh. Woo! So hot in those tubes. I like the body tube a lot better. Could really stay up here for days. We're on the 19th deck. Technically, we're on the 20th. Look how high we are. I've never been this high in a cruise ship ever before. At least I don't think. Unreal views. If only every water park could be like this. We got done with it in like 20, 20 minutes. That was fun. Well, everybody, that is gonna be it for your daily dose. We've got a half day left and uh, a little bit more tomorrow. Um, I'm really excited for the entertainment tonight because the entertainment has actually blown me away here on this ship. I have nothing but good things to say so far about MSC. I've been having a blast here on our only three day cruise, but uh, tomorrow I'm gonna combine the rest of the today in and tomorrow morning. I might do a review with tomorrow's video or that might be a separate video. I'm thinking more of a separate video, but I don't really know. Um, but that's gonna be it for you guys' daily dose. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Just wrapping up uh, this video actually right now. Then I'm gonna go eat because I'm hungry. But um, that was it, and I'll see you guys then. Thanks so much for all the support. Peace out.